Good afternoon, my name is Dr. Kenrick, and today we're going to discuss, is a master's degree really worth it? If you could do me a favor and hit that like, that subscribe, and of course that bell icon, I would deeply appreciate it. But let's get back into whether or not a master's degree is actually worth it from your time of exposure. Whenever you look at any type of an investment, you have to look at it the long term capabilities of that investment impacting your life. And that's what a master's degree is. It's a return on your investment, a return on your time, the cost, and of course your energy and resources that you put forward with it. But not all master's degrees are created equally. And today we're discussing specifically a cybersecurity master's degree. I do want to preface this that most of the statistics that I'm providing you today are actually of over broad scope of master's degrees. I would actually challenge that these master's degrees are higher in most cases compared to a traditional master's degree, say like in psychology or business or even the, the liberal arts studies, because it is a STEM related field. However, like I said, most of these statistics are specific to overall a master's degree, not specific to a cybersecurity master's degree. So let's jump into some of these statistics. 14.4% of Americans hold a master's degree. Now, if you know me, you know that I am very much not one of those people that's like, oh, well, everybody else is jumping off the bridge. I should jump off too. That's not how we need to look at a master's degree. And so I would take this statistic and I would throw it out the window. I don't think this has any bearing on whether or not you personally should get a master's degree. Because after all, it's a return on your investment, not on somebody else's, not on the population, on you specifically. So let's look at some of those other statistics. Employability rose by 2 to 3%. And I say two to three because I looked at statistics and on some articles I saw 2%, other articles I saw 2.3 or excuse me, 3%. That relates back to a 2.5% average employability. Now I would challenge that this really shouldn't be a case whether or not you get a master's degree at all. That if you're going for a master's degree, you probably have a little bit more drive, a little bit more ambition than say some of the other people. And most people that have a bachelor's degree or are going for a master's degree already have a job. And so if you look at it from an employability aspect, chances are this isn't going to affect you. If you look at 2 to 3%, that's really nothing. And again, should not calculate into your overall return on investment, at least in my opinion. However, lifetime's earnings rose by $3.2 million per person. That's $3.2 million per person who hold a master's degree over anything else. $3.2 million over your lifetime seems like a lot of money, but if we break it down over the fact that you're probably going to be working 45 years throughout your life, we can calculate the average income per year that your salary rose. Now, like anything, you're not gonna get that at the beginning, it's probably gonna be more towards the end of your career when salaries rise due to your experience and nature. And again, it's gonna depend on your age when you look at this master's degree. So when we say a lifetime's earnings rose by $3.2 million, that statistic is gonna be changed based on whether or not you got your master's degree at earlier in life, or if you got it later in life, and you need to take that into calculation when you're looking at this return on investment. Your master's degree at the age of 25, work 45 years, which puts you at a retirement age of 70, then we can look at it and say, okay, that's an average net gain of $71,000 per year on my annual salary. That's a huge jump from what you may see from something else. Now, I would caution you with the statistic because honestly, $71,000 per year, uh, for having a master's degree, it's probably related back into the fact that somebody doesn't have a degree at all, which means they don't have an associate's, they don't have a bachelor's degree. Uh, and so it really kind of takes into account the saying, well, is it really like that? But if you're currently in no degree perspective and you're working in retail, then 100% it's an accurate statistic. But most people that are looking for a master's degree are probably in a bachelor's degree. And if so, then we have to look at the statistic from that perspective. And that means that an average bachelor's degree increases their salary by $1.2 million per year, meaning that we only have that $2 million extra when going from a bachelor's over to a master's degree. Still a bump though, $2 million over your lifetime. That means that graduating with a master's degree at the age of 25, you can expect to see a $44,400 bump in your annual salary Per year. Of course, this is going to depend on whether or not you get your bachelor's degree at 25 or if you get it closer to age, say 40 or 50. The return on investment really depends on when you get that master's degree overall. Now, the statistic also deals with your annual salary. And a medium salary income for somebody with a bachelor's, master's degree in computer science, because there is no, you know, cybersecurity or information technology. We all relate that back into computer science when we're looking at statistics. And as such, we see a mid-career salary of $111,000 per year. Now, mid-career can be relegated to something above eight years of doing the same job. 
this is actually pretty low from what I've seen in the field. Now, I'm not saying it's not accurate. It probably 100% is. But $111,000 per year, not a bad salary for mid-career. It also means that if you're looking at it longevity, we could probably anticipate a high salary, probably towards the 130 to 150 range for the average person with a master's degree. Not too shabby if you look at it from the rep perspective. But again, it depends on when you graduate with that master's degree and whether or not you already have your bachelor's degree and you're already in the field to begin with. And I think that's an important aspect to look at. If you're somebody that's brand new and you're just getting done with your bachelor's degree, it's probably worthwhile more from uh, that perspective to jump into a master's program, say, than somebody that's in their 45 range and they've only got another, what, 20 years to left on their, on, their, uh, on their program, on their lifetime for working? It may not be worth it. Me personally, do I still think it's worth it? Well, it depends on the cost of what the degree is going to cost you versus what you're going to return on that investment over lifetime expectancy. And that's what we call return on investment, which is I'm going to point back to that every single time. All right, next statistics, 109% more likely to own a home with a master's degree. 109% more likely to own a home with a master's degree with 73.6 of master's degree holders owning their own home. That means you are way more likely to own a home if you have a master's degree. Now I'm going to relate this back to your salary because let's look at it. The fact is, is that having a master's degree isn't going to suddenly give you a home. It's all about having that increased salary. But if you look at it from that perspective and you're saying to yourself, wow, I really want to own my own home sometime, maybe grabbing a master's degree isn't such a bad deal because people can actually afford homes when they have a master's degree as opposed to something else. Again, take this with a little bit of grain of salt because it's probably related back over to the statistics with somebody with no education as to somebody with a bachelor's degree. And so this, this statistic can be skewed like anything else. If you remember from your bachelor's degree, you probably remember those statistics class and we told you time and time again, statistics can be skewed and you need to look at it from that perspective. All right, 17.6% job growth requiring a master's degree through 2026. That means that we anticipate that 16% more jobs or probably closer to 70% more jobs are going to require a master's degree going forward. And we're going to see this rise as more people get master's degrees. And this is the bad side of master's degrees actually growing within the population. Now, we often say, oh, more education, more education, more education. But with more education comes the fact that there's a bigger pool to drive from, meaning that we have supply and then we have demand. Where before, there really wasn't a large supply of master's degree holders. Now, it's steadily increasing over the years. And because of that, companies can require their employees to have a master's degree because of it. So, if you're looking at managing a master's degree and you really want to employ your, your chances for a career, chances are that if you're low on that age bracket, say in your 20s, 25s, it may behoove you to grab a master's degree because, again, that return on investment. Now, if you're, again, in your 50s, probably not going to see a major shift in that perspective over the next 15 years. However, you do need to realize that the statistic is very real and that it is going to come to bear. 1% unemployment. That means that if you hold a master's degree, you're far less likely to become unemployed than, say, another career field. Now, you have to take this with a little bit of salt. The United States has an unemployment rate of 4.2% currently. That doesn't mean that you're unemployment proof with a master's degree, but it does mean that you're probably going to see less likely of a chance to be unemployed with a master's degree. And I relate this back to the fact that having a master's degree is still a positive. Usually people that go for a master's degree are a little bit more ambitious, a little bit more driven, and again, they have a little bit more education than your average person. And so it kind of skews this number because people that don't have education, that don't get a degree, usually are perfectly fine living their lives day to day with no interest or more expansion in their current lives. And there's nothing wrong with that. However, if you're really one of those people like I am, where you're like, oh my gosh, I cannot deal without having a job, is having a master's degree in cybersecurity worth it? And I'm going to stand by my word. It really depends. If you're one of those people that's fresh out of college, maybe you've just got your bachelor's degree and you're younger in age, 100%, I would dive right into a master's degree right afterwards. I think the return on investment is definitely there. However, you're older in life, I'm mid-career, or maybe I'm not working in cybersecurity. I'm not working in uh, a STEM field, and I've got my bachelor's degree in a totally different market. You need to look at it and go, okay, will this get me farther in my career if I transition over away from whatever I'm doing now over into cybersecurity with a master's degree. Uh, normally I'm gonna say yes, but again, it depends on your age. It depends on your own lifestyle and what you're looking for. But overall, I have to say that I firmly believe that getting a master's degree is probably worth the return on investment for 90% of the people that are out there actually looking 
for a master's degree. But results will vary depending on not only where you live, but your own lifestyle and what you're looking to gain out of it. But you need to look at your investment from your own perspective. So is that extra $44,400 that you might receive on an annual basis really worth the extra income or the extra loss of, of student loans and however you're planning to pay for it? Now, I do want to point out this one little perspective, and, and I really, really want to hammer on this. If your company, if your organization, maybe you're in the military, offers any type of college assistance or, or repayment plan, I have to say that no matter what happens, you should jump on it because it's free or close to being free. And if that's the case, then the return on investment is really, really high, regardless of what your age is. Finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't somehow relate this back to my own university, the University of Arizona. We have a great online program for master's degrees in cybersecurity. I 100% support it. If that's something you're looking into, definitely hit us up. I will provide the link in below. Please like, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon. We'll see you next time.